now this is a story about a girl who chose to obey and do the will of the Lord. And now, even though it took some wrong turns and some upside down moments, the spear within her kept her moving her forward. Now, I don't know much about poetry, but I hope you stick around to know more about my story. Oh, yeah. God bless. Ooh, 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 ooh. Jesus is rocks. Jesus is rocks. Oh yeah, oh yeah, stick around to know more about my story. Oh yeah. God bless, love you, keep on smiling, stay positive. Jesus loves you, so do I. Oh yeah, oh yeah. are having a lovely day so far. Ooh, sun's nice and bright. I mean, it's overcast, but anyway. Hopefully it isn't overcast all day long, because then it's going to be hard to see where we're going. So you can see by the title of this vlog, it's family fun day. We're having, we're going to Deep Creek. Yay! Exciting. It's kind of exciting. It's kind of like a staycation, because we're just, it's a day trip. We don't usually do day trips as much as we kind of used to in the back in the past so it would be fun to do that again and we actually have time kind of yeah <laughs> so I'm just getting myself ready okay I had a hard time finding an outfit that would be suitable <clears throat> to wear it was miserable to figure out something because <laughs> I was like Nothing really fits me anymore, and I didn't want to wear like my work clothes. I want to wear something kind of nice, so I found this top. It's pretty breezy, and then I'm wearing these red shorts. They're kind, of, they're a little on the short side than I would like to, but at the same time they're kind of long because I wear them kind of on my hips. <laughs> but anyway, um, got my backpack all settled. Um, I'm kind of holding my camera um with my hand right now I don't know why I'm not wearing using the tripod but it's already packed up I don't I keep bicker back and forth if I should bring my big tripod I don't think I need it so I'm gonna leave her to leave Slim Jim there and just bring my handheld one because I think that's all I'm gonna need alright I'm gonna stick you here can you challenge yourself? There we go. I forgot my boots. <laughs> no. God damn. I've been wanting to. I we're going to do a little walking and I need a boot that has um, track on it and so I'm bringing my comb boot boots because the last time I brought another set of comb boot boots they work the best as far as walking and stuff so yeah I'm pretty excited about everything um this week has been crazy, I gotta say. Seen from the previous vlog, our power went out Tuesday. It didn't come back until Wednesday mid-morning, <laughs> which is interesting. I'm glad that's all over with. Our week has been kind of over and we have today and tomorrow off. We do have to work Monday, unfortunately. It's only one house. And then we have appointments and grocery shopping. More grocery shopping! I hit Walmart and Aldi's Monday. I did Sam's yesterday. Uh, Mom has got this, not to put her down, but she's got an addiction to either Taco Bell, I think I've told you about that, and ice cream. 
and I've had to put my foot down quite a bit. She persisted to go into Wendy's to get a Frosty. Well, she regretted that. It didn't, it really upset her stomach, so. I tell you, she contradicts herself a lot. I love my mom, but oof. And then she still proceeded, I, and I follow suit. I need to stop doing that. I need to tell her, like, no, I don't want that. <laughs> now, on Thursday, because we came home so late, Taco Bell was a necessity. And I also like their um, new, uh, Taco Bell has their new, this, um, their Freezies is a um, mango flavor. There's a regular mango, and then there's the whipped. The whip is really good. It has, like, it tastes like an orange gold. Minus the fact it's a mango so <laughs> mango sigil? Angles? I don't know how to say that. It's kind of like a, that concept, the orange skull type pops. Except for it's mango flavored. Alright. I'm going to get myself rest of going and I'll see you guys soon, probably in the car. So, see you soon.
it going? Hope like everyone's having a great day so far. I am doing pretty well. Sorry, this is a bad angle, but I'm at Food Lion right now. We just came back from Swallow Falls, Deep Creek. It was very fun. Um, before this, I'll be showing you all the clips, so you should be all seeing all that in some pictures. But yeah, we're back and. I didn't feel like going inside the grocery store. Mom needs eggs because we ran out. She eats eggs every day. I can hit or miss with eggs. But anyway. And the rest of the fam bam did too. We also got some ice cream which was really nice. Um, we really don't have any f other places to go get restaurant food. Because there really isn't any restaurants around here anymore. And they're taking flipping forever to put Little Caesars, their gas station... I hop in what's the other place Burger King that's in going to be going in it's taking them forever to build the stupid place but anyway but all of us had a great time at um Deep Creek it was nice weather today has been really nice it's been a little bit overcast in the morning it's sunny and bright now and there's hardly any humidity and it is it's just nice. It's the nice breeze blowing in, so I'm really grateful to God. And Ricky kept us safe. So, well, God kept us all familiarly safe, but Ricky had kept as dries pretty well, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Excuse me. But yeah, so we had an overall good time. And I'm really grateful that we actually had something to do to, instead of staying home all the time or just going to work all the time. It's been nice. Sorry, I'm kind of staring at this other car that has one of those stand up vacuum cleaners in the back of their vehicle. Some people, I tell you, there's just random odd things that people do or have in their cars or wear, people wear the most ridiculous clothing. Uh, either they're overdressed or underdressed in my opinion but anyway I guess I'd rather see them overdressed than underdressed <laughs> I can't remember if I told you that we had Bible study yesterday and that went well I really enjoyed it and they're not going to have it next Friday because youth camp is next Friday so there won't be any thing going on on Wednesday service not that we go every time anyway and or we don't have sir Bible study because everyone pretty much is at church uh, by camp little camp so hoping praying everything goes well the one thing I am concerned about with youth camp is that most of the kids unfortunately they get swept in emotionally wise at camp and then they don't they'll have it like the first or second week of camp they're feeling that Holy Spirit you know goodness and then they go back to their old ways of living and it's sad because they don't truly are misguided by the world and they just do not have that strong connection with the Lord so I'm hoping and praying a lot of them will get that this year and they won't get swept up by the world because it's easy to do don't get me wrong I've been there done that type of situation and I think it's a horrible place to get swept into it it's easy to do so I'm hoping and praying that they'll not get swept up this time and they'll actually continue their walk with the Lord I want to see growth in these children and young adults because there are some peers that are a little bit younger than me they're youth leaders basically and or young adults and I still don't see enough growth in them I know they were all at different places in life but at the same time it concerns me it really does I know not everyone's at the same level as me and I know I'm not in the same level as some of the elders in our church but still nonetheless I would like to see more growth anyway I'm just waiting on the rentals and Zachary to come back out so I thought I'd pull out the camera and vlog a little bit so my day was great we had a good time and I enjoyed it I know I didn't I took mostly pictures of either the fam bam or scenics I didn't really take a picture of myself 
end up at the place, but hopefully we'll do more family excursions like this again. Hopefully, again. I've suggested going to Lancaster. I hope we can do that. Maybe see Sight and Sound or do something else. I don't know. We'll see. Depends on our schedule and depends on our bank account. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'll see you guys when I get home for Bible time. So, see you soon. And just like that, I'm back at home. It's a little after 7 now that we got home. And I'm out of comfy PJs. And guess what? It's everybody's favorite time of the vlog. Bible time. So let's get started. So we're in Genesis. Do I not? Okay. I did not put the right bookmark where I'm supposed to be reading. Okay. We're in chapter 19. Alright, I didn't put the bookmark in the right position. But anyway. Genesis chapter 19. Sodom and Gomorrah destroyed. That evening, the two angels came to the entrance of the city of Sodom. Lot was sitting there, and when he saw them, he stood up to meet them. Then he welcomed them and bowed with his face to the ground. My lords, he said, come to my home and to wash your feet and be my guest for the night. You may, not, you may then get up early in the morning and be on your way again. Oh no, they replied. We'll just spend the night out here in the city square. But Lot insisted, so... At last, they went home with him. Lot prepared a feast for them, complete with fresh bread, made without yeast, and they ate it. Before they retired for the night, all the men of Sodom, young and old, came from all the city and surrounded the house. They shouted to Lot, Where are the men who came to spend the night with you? Bring them out so we can have <coughs> with them. So Lot stepped outside to talk with them and shutting the door behind him. Please, my brothers, he begged, don't do such a wicked thing. Look, I have two virgin daughters. Let me bring them out to you, and you can do with them as you wish. Well, that's horrific. Either way, it's disgusting. Either way, and horrible what the men are doing. Oh, they're demon-possessed, obviously. But please leave these men alone, for they are my guests and under my protection. Stand back, they shouted. This fellow came to town as an outsider. Now he's acting like our judge. We'll treat you far worse than those other men and they lunged toward Lot to break down the door but the two angels reached out pulled Lot into the house and bolted the door then they blinded all the men young and old who were at the door of the house so they came gave up trying to get inside meanwhile the angels questioned Lot do you have any other relatives here in the city they asked get them out of the place out of this place your son-in-law sons daughters or anyone else for we are about to destroy the city completely the outcry against this place is so great that it has reached the Lord, and he sent us to destroy it. So Lot rushed out to all his daughter's fiancés. Quick, get out of the city. The Lord is about to destroy it. But the young men thought he was only joking. <clears throat> Don't think so. A little sidebar called Chameleon or Champion. Lot had lived so long among ungodly people that he was no longer a believe, believable witness for God. He had allowed his environment to shape him rather than shaping his environment. Also, he had compromised to the point that he almost <sighs> he was almost useless to God. Then he finally took a stand. Nobody listened. Do those who you know you see you as a witness for God? Or are you a chameleon like Lot, blending into your environment? If you want to make a difference, you must first decide to be different and take a stand for what's right. Amen to that. It's not always easy, but we need to stand up for our beliefs. And what we believe in. Not back down to it. At dawn the next morning, the angels became insistent. Hurry, they said to Lot. Take your wife and your two daughters who are here. Get out right now, or you will be swept away in the destruction of the city. Then Lot still hesitated. The angel seized his hand in the hands of his wife and two daughters and rushed them to safely outside the city. For the Lord was merciful. When they were safely out of the city, one of the angels order run for your lives and don't look back or stop anywhere in the valley escape to the mountains or you will be swept away oh no my lord lot begged you have been so gracious to me and saved my life and you have shown such great kindness but i cannot go to the mountains disaster would catch me up to there and i would soon die see there is a small village nearby please let me go there instead don't let don't you see how small it is then my life will be saved 
All right, the angel said, I will grant your request. I will not destroy the little village, but hurry, escape to it, for I have, I can do nothing until you arrive there. This explains that the village was known as Zor, which means little place. Lot reached the village, but just as the sun was rising over the horizon, then the Lord rained down fire and burning sulfur from the, from the sky on Sodom and Gomorrah. He utterly destroyed them along with the other cities and villages of the plain, Whip, oil, wiping out all the people and every bit of vegetation. But Lot's wife looked back as she was falling behind them, and she turned to a pillar of salt. <laughs> Abraham got up early that morning and hurried out to the place where he had stood in the Lord's presence. He looked across the plain toward Sodom and Gomorrah and watched as columns of smoke rose from the cities like smoke from a furnace. But God had listened to Abraham's request and kept Lot safe, removing him from the disaster that engulfed the cities on the plain. Lot and his daughters. Fortunately, his wife was no more. Afterward, Lot left Zor because he was afraid of the people there, and he went to live in a cave in the mountains with his two daughters. Oh, gosh. Here we go again. One day, the older daughter said to her sister, There are no men left here in the entire area, so we, can get married like, so we can't get married like anyone else, and our fellow is to be too old to have children. So, my battery's about the size, so we'll get back here shortly. Okay, back and with a fresh battery, so it won't stop bleaking, blinking red. Anyway, two of Lot's daughters did something horrible, which I would have been thought was disgusting. <laughs> so one day the older daughter said to her sister, There are no men left here anywhere in this entire area, so we can't get married like everyone else, and our father will soon be too old to have children, so what do you think she they did decide to do? <clears throat> Come, let's get him drunk with wine and then we'll have blank with him. I don't really want to say the word. It's not a bad word, but I'm not a huge fan of saying it, but I feel like you guys know what I mean. <sighs> That way we'll preserve our family through him like our father. Well, if you have blank with him, that's basically you're having your... Oh my gosh, that's so messed up. At that time, they got him drunk with wine, and the older daughter went in and had intercourse with her father. Ugh, gross. He was unaware of her lying down and getting up again. How can he be so unaware? Man, she must have gotten really drunk. Jeez. The next morning the older daughter said to her younger sister I had blank with our father last night let's get him drunk with wine again and tonight and you go in and have blank with him that way we'll preserve our family through our line through our father so that night they got him drunk with wine again and the younger daughter went in and had intercourse with him <sighs> disgusting as before he was unaware of for lying down or getting up again as a result both of Lot's daughters became pregnant by their own father gross. When the older daughter gave birth to a son, she named him Moab, and he became the ancestor of the nation known, now known as the Moabites. When the younger daughter gave birth to a son, she gave him ben Ami. ben Ami. He became the ancestor of the nation now known as the Anamites. <sighs> you would not... No. I'm glad we don't have to do that anymore. It's against the law, basically, now for that to ever happen. But thank you, Lord, as always, for living, breathing, word, and for let, let, letting us learn lessons what not to do. <laughs> and we should not do what Lot's daughters did. I know they would have died off, but honestly, keep it on the family? Yeah, no. <laughs> Go outside the family bloodline. You won't have so many... Um, disorders like you do now. You can't do that without getting... Now, back then, it was like... I don't think God appreciated it or approved of it, but he allowed it to happen for people to populate the earth, but... <sighs> Disgusting. Anyway, I'm gonna be editing some videos of this week already. And then... Yeah, I'm just gonna close it out now, because basically really late so anyway hope you guys enjoyed this vlog as always keep on smiling stay positive i love you guys jesus loves you and i'll see you guys next time bye